what's up you guys so to welcome back to my channel and if you don't know me already my name is Coco and I love volleyball and what I've been doing recently is showing you guys a lot of volleyball tips that will help you really get at the game and learn how to play volleyball from the beginning so today we're gonna do the long-awaited overhand volleyball tutorial and there are multiple parts to this tutorial so make sure you watch the whole thing but if you aren't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow my social media but today let's get right into it about overhand serving is bow and arrow. And if you've ever played volleyball, you might have heard this before. Bow and arrow is an analogy for a way to use your arms in order to serve the ball over. Now what you're gonna need for this is a volleyball. And if you don't have a volleyball already, I already have a video that I've already made about how to find a volleyball and it's gonna be somewhere up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a volleyball. You're gonna extend your arm to its fullest capacity. And this is your non-dominant arm. So if you're right-handed, this is your left hand. If you're left-handed, this is your right hand. So what you're gonna do is extend it. Now the first thing about volleyball is we need to learn how to do the toss, okay? The toss is 90% of the reason why volleyballs don't go over, it's the toss. If I toss it back here, I'm gonna end up serving like this. If I toss it way out here, I'm gonna end up leaning forward. We want the toss to be just right for us so it meets our hand at the right point of contact when we're serving. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna put your dominant hand behind your back and keep your non-dominant hand in your toss right in front of you. You're gonna see if the toss is right in front of you. It shouldn't be too high where you're gonna reach it too high or too low where it's too low. So after we finish learning about how to do the toss, we're gonna to look at how to contact the ball with our hand. Now a lot of the things I see a lot of girls who are beginning do is, they try to do the knuckles. They try to hit it like this because they think it's gonna help it go over. You will break your fist like this. Don't do this. You wanna have an open palm and have five points of contact. That means, five points of contact means one, two, three, four, five. Uh, open palm. So if you have to, before you start serving, you have to slap it twice just to get your hand right, do that. Everybody has serving rituals that they use before they serve. And I'm gonna show you some of mine when I demonstrate a serve at the end. But we're gonna learn five points of contact. So am I gonna contact the ball here? Is that gonna go over? Absolutely not. Am I gonna contact the ball here? No, I'm gonna contact the ball at the highest point at my toss. So toss up, highest point, that's where I'm gonna contact the ball. Toss up, highest point, that's where I'm gonna contact the ball. After learning how to contact the ball with your hand, what we're gonna do is make sure you follow through. And what following through means, I'm gonna turn this way, what following through means, after you serve, you don't just stop here. You don't go and serve and you stop here. You serve and you go all the way through. Serve all the way through. What I tell my clients a lot of the time is, think about throwing a baseball all the way through. Do you throw a baseball and you just stop here? You go all the way through. So after you serve, you're gonna come all the way through. Now we're gonna talk about the most important part, which is your body position or your form. So with your form, you don't just serve and you stay in place, okay? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not gonna work well for you. So you're not gonna stay in place. You're gonna take a step forward and step into it. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take a step forward and step into it. And that's how you're gonna serve. So you're gonna serve, step forward, and step into it. So let's imagine that the line is right here. And remember, you cannot cross the line while you're serving. That's considered a football. So what you're gonna do is start back from behind the line. I start reasonably back. What I do is I step, serve in, serve, and step into it. One more time, start serving, and then I step into it, okay? So now we're gonna put all of these steps that we learned and we're gonna put them all together. And then at the end, I'm gonna teach you about serving rituals. So I'm gonna put them all together. So well, the first thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna remind ourselves our toss. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow, okay? So we're gonna start from the beginning, bow, I'm gonna start my arrow. Arrow, toss, and serve. Okay?
I can give you from this tutorial is to remember bow, arrow, step, hit. Bow, arrow, step, hit. One more time. Bow, arrow, step, and hit. Reminder, you want to keep your bow as straight as possible and your arrow, don't start here. You want to open your arrow all the way up. Open your body up so you can get forward momentum in order to hit the ball with all of your power. You hit it here, that's dinosaur arm. You're going to hit it go just like that. You want to open all the way up. So when you start, you want to go all the way open and you have enough momentum. Open all the way up, full momentum, okay? Make sure you open up. Uh, this applies to other serves, but to learn how to do a float serve, a jump float serve, jump serve, those are videos coming on up. But let me talk about serving rituals. So, everybody has a different ritual. Some people bounce the ball a couple times. Some people toss it up and let it fall. If you've ever watched volleyball TV or if you've been to a game, you might have seen this. What I do is I bounce the ball a couple of times. I come up, slap, slap and then I serve. So I'm gonna show you my full serving ritual. One drill that you can use at home or when you go to practice to help you learn get your serves over because I know serving is a difficult skill for many people. What you can do is you start close up to the net. You start up close to the net. Start at the 10 foot line. And the 10 foot line, or the three meter line, the 10 foot line is the line where the front row and the back row are divided. Start at the 10 foot line, try to serve over. Every time you get a serve over, take a step back. Try to serve over. Every time you get a serve over, take a step back. If you get stuck in a position for a while, work on that until you can move back further, until you're all the way back behind the serving line. And that's a drill you can use in order to learn how to serve better. Or if you're a coach, that's a drill I highly recommend using. I use it with a lot of my clients. That really helps you get your serves over. Also, you might wanna try just doing bow and arrow. Just stand like I'm doing outdoors. Bow, arrow, bow, arrow. A lot of people are having noodle arms when they come up and they serve like this, or they serve like this. It's a lot of the time it's fixed easily by form. So I hope that you like this overhand serving video. I know it's kind of long, but I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.